So today we're gonna add a propane quick connect so we can run our new Blackstone griddle. All right, so don't let this project intimidate you, okay? This was a pretty easy project. So just uh, watch over the video and down below in the description box, we're gonna have the link for all the parts and pieces that you're gonna need. And they all came from propanegear.com. So I'd say 10, 15 minutes. Once you get all the pieces Tefloned up and then actually put it into the box, doesn't take long at all. Okay, so important note here, before you start this project, installing your disconnect, propane disconnect to your RV, turn the propane off, turn both bottles off, and go ahead and then to make sure there's no propane in the lines, go ahead and turn on your cooktop and <clears throat> light it. So here are the parts that we're gonna be using to add our quick connect, propane quick connect, our propane quick connect. So we can run our black stone griddle. So this is the plug that was in the it's kind of a propane junction box. So we're taking this plug out and we're gonna add in this 90 degree pass-through plug. And we gotta add in these parts, add in the quick connect. And then this is a 12 foot hose. This will plug into this quick connect and then we have another quick connect on this end. And this is specifically for the Blackstone. And that'll hook into there. And we'll have propane fed to our Blackstone from our RV tanks, RV propane tanks. So I didn't forget to mention the uh, Teflon tape for propane. You're gonna need some of that for all your fittings that are not flared. Okay, so we are in position under the RV here. So basically I just got uh, my fittings taped with the propane Teflon and got all those little pieces put together. And then our 90 degree angle, which goes into the junction box, I uh, taped it as well and got it started. So now we just have to tighten that, add this to it, and then the quick connect is done. Okay, so here's our propane junction box. So this is the end where I took the plug out. This is our 90 degree angle that we're putting in. We're gonna have it facing outwards and connect this to it. And then that's our quick connect. So I thought I was gonna have to take these screws out to loosen this junction box away from the frame but it looks like this is gonna be able to turn. I was afraid it might be too long, it wouldn't turn. But it looks like it's gonna turn, so basically all we're gonna to have to do is just get that tight, screw this into there, and that's it. Okay, so I did have to go ahead and break those two screws loose to loosen this uh, junction box up. That way I can get a full turn on this 90 degree. So, I thought we might have to do it, but <clears throat> never know, we might have gotten lucky, but we didn't. Okay, so we got our uh, propane dis quick disconnect, quick connect, however you want to call it, or however you want to say it, whatever you want to call it. 
we have it installed. So there's our little 90 into our propane junction box and the other various fittings to the disconnect, the quick connect piece. So it does have a rubber cap to protect the hole there. So you just move that lever down. Now you can actuate that, put in your hose and that keeps it from actuating a little safety feature. Okay, so now that I got the propane disconnect or the quick connect installed, before I try to operate anything, I wanna go ahead and turn the propane tank back on and then go ahead and pressurize the system. And then I'm gonna have a propane detector, leak detector, and make sure all those fittings are uh, good to go no leaks and then we can test out the blackstone grill all right so i'm about to turn the propane tank on pressurize the system i have my uh, propane leak detector you don't have to get one of these to make sure if you have leaks or not you can just use uh soapy water and spray it if you see any air bubbles you know you need to tighten them down a little bit more so we're going to use this okay so a lot of times when you when your RV sits for a while, you're and you have your propane tank off. Uh, a lot of times, that uh, the lines will uh, just kind of dissipate that uh, propane. <clears throat> so we're going to try to prime the propane to get the propane all the way back through the lines here. Since we had that open, more than likely there was uh, quite a bit of air in the lines. So by doing this, we get all the air out and we get a good steady flow of propane. So that's a good sign. We haven't uh, checked for leaks down there in that junction area, but we are getting a nice flame here. But we are going to take that leak detector and check those fittings that we did. All right, now we know we have a good steady supply of propane through the lines. Let's go check for leaks. Okay, so we're just gonna get this uh, activated. Gotta have it around fresh air flow. All right, now we're ready. Let's get under here, under the RV. We had a leak all three lights would have lit up and that red light would have been on so yellow light means we're looking green means so far so good okay so it looks like no leaks Now, I just so happen to have this because I do have a uh, kettle corn business and my kettle corn is operate or my kettle is powered by propane so that's why I have this all right so all our fittings checked out good there's no leaks detected by the propane leak detector so now what we have to do is hook up the quick connect hose we'll hook up the blackstone fire it up and check for any leaks, we should be fine. should be good to go. So one note is uh, when you do this, you do not have to have a regulator, you know, like if you're, so you have to have a propane regulator for your Blackstone grill if you're just using, you know, your 20 pound barbecue grill. So there's, 
this system here, your regulator, is already built in to your RV. So it's up here with your tanks. So you don't have to worry about doing a regulator. Once you install this quick connect, that's it. Your regulator's up here at your propane tank. And then you're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna hook up our uh, hose to our quick connect. Just slide the collar back. Go ahead and close that lever back. And now the next part. So now we have our uh, fitting specific for the Blackstone grill and our quick connect. So same thing with the other quick connect. Just slide that over, pull the collar back, and that's it. Slide that back and close it. Now we're gonna hook it up to the Blackstone. All right, our black stone is lit. It's hard to see the planes. But it's lit. Our quick connect works very well. Very nice. Just showing how far this hose comes out so you could go quite a ways here it is a 12 foot hose so plenty of room at the campground let's head out the side patio and there's the black stone Tracker work this is where all the noise is coming from. They just started. Thank you. So this is what I, exactly what I had in mind when I bought this Blackstone grill. Is being able to quick connect it to the RV propane and not have to deal with the little Coleman propane bottles or an extra 20 pound propane tank. So this will make things a lot nicer, easier, Hook in your 12 foot hose, connect to the Blackstone, fire it up, and we're cooking on the side patio. And we can even put the awning out if we need to. Very nice. <laughs>